differential equations today. Hi, folks at home. We're going to do slope fields and differential equations today. Everybody say yay. That was awesome. So, so I got to remind us of all the things that we're going to do when we do differential equations. And so I'm going to pick something really easy. Like what else would be easy? Sunday morning. Sunday. Wow. Wow. All you people are just. Wow. So here we go. I've got to do a couple of things with that. want to do a couple of things with that differential equation. By the way, we know it's a differential equation because it has a derivative in it. Uh, one thing that's common to both calc AB and calc BC is the idea of a slope field. And to do a slope field, you need, oh, come on, be a sport. No, not that. No, not that. Yes, that. That. There we go. And you would have these, these dots everywhere at one and two, maybe. And you'd do them like this. And there'd be a bunch of dots like maybe like so and you'd have to come up with a slope field and you remember that in a slope field you want to have the the teeny tiny piece of tangent line at any point in that slope field so uh, let's get all the flat tans out of the way how many flat tangent lines will we draw? Count them up. Shall we count them up? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Where are they, Dora the Explorer? There. Six, seven. And way to mess up your children's shows by having Dora interrupt the count. Ah, 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 ah. And the other guys, <laughs> seriously, we're actually doing this. So at 1-1, one, one, what's the slope at 1-1? One, one? It's 1 half. Very good. So that's not quite a slope of 1, so you kind of don't have a slope of 1. But at 1-2, you do have a slope of 1. And at 2, 1, you do have a slope of 1. And at 2, 2, you have a slope of 2. That's bigger than 1. Now, nobody's going to get out their, their micrometer and measure how good your slopes are. But you want to have increasing slopes as we go across and as we grow, go, as we grow up. As we grow up, sorry, Morgan. Negative 1, 1, what's that slope? That's forever. That's forever. It's forever. And then at negative 1, 2, that's a slope of negative 1, which is more negative than the negative 1 half. And at negative 2, 1, that's a slope of, of negative 1. And similarly, at negative 2, 2, 2, 2, then you have a slope of negative 2, and you got like that. What's that? This is Morgan Macklin. Morgan Macklin. Now we'll know forever who it is. Um, the thing that BC students have to do that AB students didn't have to do is they have to do something like use Euler's method uh, with Euler? Euler? Seriously? Euler! Not like Bueller, not at all! Uh, with delta x equals 0 0.5 to approximate the y value at 1 if the y value at 0 is 2. Uh, this was something that BC students have to do. It hasn't been dropped into the AB syllabus yet. A and the way we do this is we draw a teeny tiny piece of tangent line and we use that to approximate the function uh, near 0. So I got to know what the slope is at 0. Hit me with your best shots. Fire away. 0. So my teeny tiny piece of tangent line is going to extend for a half. And that's a rest stop. At the rest stop, everybody out of the car. Everybody go to the bathroom. Get back in the car. Got to figure out where we are. What is the y value at that point? Right. 
Right. So now we get back in the car. We've got to head on a new trajectory. At, let's see, measure of the tangent line, slope of the tangent line at, uh, let's see, what are the coordinates of that point? 0.52. What is the slope of that derivative? What's the value of that derivative at 0.52? One half. One half. So now it's time for us to do a little bit of ninth grade algebra. The slope of that tangent line is one half. What is slope? It's change in y over change in x. What is the change in x here? 0.5 is very, very good. Very, very good. So, what is the change in y, Dave? 0.25 is right. I sure hope the microphone picks you guys up. So, if the change in y is 0.25, what are the coordinates of this point? 1, 2.25. So, we say that y of 1 is approximately 2.25. And so one of the things that the College Board has liked to do with us is that first part for two points is construct a slope field, and then the second part for two points is use Euler's method, and then in the third part for five points is they say solve the differential equation. Solve for y if y of 0 is 2. And I'll rewrite down here so the folks at home don't have to scroll up. And we have a folk at home today. Say hi to Mike. Wherever. <laughs> we know that wherever Mike is, he's picking on my wife. Poor thing. My wife, I mean. So. I gotta solve a differential equation. If I do not do this very first step, I'm 0 for 5 for the part. Where do we start? Gotta do that. Gotta separate your variables. So, it, yes, first we separate, then we integrate. We're gonna go plus EV Ferguson, and we're gonna basically cross multiply. And then we say, wait a minute, we're mixing our X's and our Y's. That's not okay. And so we're going to get rid of that y. We're going to bring that y over to the other side. And I, because it's easier to do it this way, am going to kick the 2 to the left side. It's just easier to do the integral that way. So if you don't separate, if you don't get to that step, the grader doesn't look at anything after just says O for the part. Makes it really easy on those folks in Kansas City. I'll do either side. Pick one. I'll do the right side. That's one-fourth x squared plus a constant. Don't forget the constant. That's one of the points. That's because we're taking an antiderivative. Remember, integral both sides to get rid of a dx dy. Momac. The constant can go wherever you like. Uh, it generally goes with the x because it's easier to work things out that way. I mean, we're trying to get y by itself. So, left side, go! Natural log y. What now? What now? You the father. I did that out loud. There it is. Y is e to the 1 fourth x squared plus c, so all we need is a c. Uh, I'm going to make life a little bit easier on us. When we have an e to the this plus an e to the that, we generally do that by throwing an a out in front. It's just easier from a computational standpoint that a is e to the c. And since e is a constant and c is a constant, e to the c is a constant, we call that constant a so as to distinguish it from c. Uh, what now? There it is. So here we go. 2 is a e to the 1 fourth of 0 squared. Give me an a. a. What's that spell?
Yay! Yay! Um, can I do a quick beware? Can I do a quick war warning, 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 warning? Um, I'm going to do a quick solve. That's French. That's French. That's right. We're in IB school, so there. There. That's, uh, that's AP. Yeah. Ah, shoot. Well, too late now. Too late now. Um, Want to do a quick warning. Warning, warning, warning before time runs out on us. Time don't run out on me. You got that thing happening, right? And you want to separate. So we're going to do the same kind of thing we did before. We're going to throw the Y thing over there. And we're going to throw the, the two over there. And doing the antiderivative on the right side is not the hard part. Can I tell you how many students will integrate the left side natural log y squared? Can I tell you how many will? Too many. What's the antiderivative on the left side? Correct. This antiderivative, this is y to the negative 2. Antiderivative, we increase the power by 1 and divide by that power. That is a giant warning because the college board loves to throw a 1 over y squared at you, either as a multiple choice or as a free response, and make you remember how to do that. Those are my highlights. We're out of time. What are your highlights before the bell rings? Marvelous. Hope you've enjoyed our look at differential equations, folks. You've got two free responses to do over the weekend. One of them looks exactly like this. It's Friday, Friday.